Hi guys, in this video I'm going to teach you how to use Perplexity and ChatGPT to really take what's working really well with your website and just really run with it and ultimately improve your traffic massively. So if we jump straight in, here is my German website that I'm sure you've seen me make recently on the channel. It's pretty new, I'll just convert it to English so it's easier for you guys to follow. Uh, it's about really make money online, so like affiliate marketing, those sorts of things. And as I say, it's fairly fresh. So if we jump over to the performance chart, as you can see, really new website, like it's uh, not even a month old, I don't think, or maybe a month. And um, ultimately, it's got 2000 impressions, not too bad, only six clicks. But again, it's very new, like it's not out of the sandbox yet. That's going to change. I'm, I'm not worried. It's going to it's going to crush it. Uh, so what we're going to do, you want to go to your search console and you want to look for your particular best queries. So hopefully my head's not in the way. No, it's not at all. So for me, the thing that's relevant is I'm going to ignore this one click, one impression, because as nice as that is, there's one impression. So it's not my best bit of content. But this this item here, affiliate marketing for anger, is my best uh keyword so this is this is what's currently drawing the most traffic and i'm going to take this or we're going to take this take your best keyword and then we're going to ultimately find more topics that we know are doing well and we can rank for so just to help you out i've translated it from german to english and it ultimately means affiliate marketing for beginners if you are curious so now we're going to jump over to chat gpt uh, I've already written the prompt just to make life easy. I'll just make myself uh, float over here. <laughs> and as you can see, it says, can you give me a set of keywords that are similar to affiliate marketing for beginners? However, would be complimentary and great for other articles without cannibalizing on that one. Of note, I see a high percentage of traffic from Germany interested in that particular article. So if we can tailor to them, that'd be great. Obviously, you might not need to care about the Germany part, but I do is I'm looking for German traffic on this website. So when I ran this earlier, this gave me a bunch of titles. So this is actually right. So you're all right, but if you do have an issue of it creating a bunch of titles, the what I used earlier was literally, I want keywords, not titles, try again. But these are actually really good. So I'm gonna steal one of these straight off. So let's go for get started in affiliate marketing. Obviously, I would recommend going through here and checking to see if you're ranking for it and if the page that's ranking for it has already like, featured it because you don't want to cannibalize your other keywords. But as these are all in German and for this, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to use English. Like, it, it doesn't make sense for you to or for me to go for it. But in fact, let, let's use affiliate marketing tips for beginners. So now we're going to jump over to perplexity.ai. If you haven't seen this, this is essentially ChatGPT, except it's backed up by search. So I'm not even logged in, I don't think. You don't need to log in. You don't need to create an account. You don't need anything. And you can just ask it anything. So I'm going to take my, my keyword that we did. And I said, can you give me 20 affiliate marketing tips for beginners? Like you can phrase it however you want, but you want to try and make it a question versus like... Well, like you can put that in, but it's better to just put in a question. This then will go off in the background and do a search and it will search Google or wherever it searches. You can see those results there and it's given us a list of tips. And so a good thing to do when writing an article. So hang on, we're going we're gonna to jump to the website and we're going to create a new post. So when writing a new article, one of the things that Google really loves nowadays and we'll just take this as the title for now. One of the things that Google really likes is answering the search term as quickly as possible. Like the sooner you can answer what someone searched for, the better. So uh, if we just take our perplexity, we can just throw these straight in at the top. I mean, I probably wouldn't do 20 at the top of an article, but there we go. So normally, we'd want to use the sources from perplexity, but in this particular instance, I just want to go straight in with the tips, straight in with the tips. But now this is where perplexity gets cool because we've got a bunch of related questions. I didn't even have to think about what I want to use next. And I know I could probably put, uh, let's find the best affiliate program for beginners. Perfect. 
now this is going to give us all of this and i don't like that there's so many lists Let, can you tell me more about using lists see if this gives us a better answer yeah here we go uh, that didn't use any sources of note, so fair enough. I'll jump back to my article and I'll start a new block. Oh, it did use some sources apparently, but they weren't actually <laughs> they weren't actually used inside the text. So that's cool. We don't, we're not too fast. Let's see what we can do for as our next paragraph. So yeah let's research and identify products that you believe will be of interest to the audience with a bit of luck this will have some nice sources in text didn't include sources in text so normally perplexity will have like a little one or something there so what i was going to do is use my cool little prompt that i've used previously and just paste that and then paste my other I don't think this this will work because um, it's not put any sources within it. But it basically says, please can you help me revise the following text from an article by incorporating rich contextual links using markdown syntax. The goal is to improve the reading experience and enhance SEO by replacing the current end citation format with meaningful contextual links. Please provide the fully rewritten text in your response. So I can quite often put that in there and it will give me a... There we go. So I've now got at least a link to an external site. And yeah, it's bun bunched uh, stuff. Uh, put a bunch of links at the bottom, which I don't particularly like. But we can now put this in here. I might choose to have a nice title at the top that says like, how do I identify your niche? So we can just jump straight in with that bit here. I think that's a pretty good title. Change that to a heading. I mean, maybe that's slightly too long, but like you can play with that. And then we can just keep going like this, just keep rolling into sections and sections. And then ultimately this will help you produce some high quality content. Right, now for a bonus tip. This is something that is really, really cool and I recommend you doing. I, I personally use it for Article um, Fiesta is just like additional information, but like you should use it when using ChatGPT to write anything for you. So let me just find my cool bit of uh, text to copy and paste in. So I'm going to keep it in the same conversation because it's relevant, but help me write an ideal customer profile for a make money online site that will be writing content for that at specific set of keywords, i.e. the ones at the top of this conversation. This site is monetized with Google AdSense. I mean, it isn't yet, but it will be at some point. And what this will do is this will say they need to be a certain age, a certain gender, their, their language, like their education, like what their interests are, hopefully their pain point. Yeah, there we go. Their pain points and their challenges and hopefully some drivers. Yeah, so goals as in the things they're trying to work towards. Pain points are the most interesting one because people are motivated by pain more than they are with goals. But there we go. So... Now, once it's given us this, I don't even need to read this because I'm sure it's done a great job. I'm going to paste in this one, which says, now take that persona and help me create a prompt for an AI to use when writing an article for me. I, when writing the article, do X and appeal to X kind of thing. Don't worry, there's a follow-up prompt because it won't give us, it gives us like a massive thing. Like if you're doing prepping, so if you're using ChatGPT and you're saying, here's some information do you understand? Yes or no? Say yes or no, else it starts spitting out loads of output. Then you can paste this in full, and that's great. But for me personally, like it's way too much. Like I don't want to be putting that in here because it, it loses context of everything it's doing. So I've got a follow-up question here that says, Can you take what you've written and condense it into a much shorter paragraph? And I also found that this overshortens it. Oh wow, this one didn't overshorten it. Okay, that's not too bad, actually. So you can get away with just taking that and prepping ChatGPT or the tool of your choice. So in my case, Article Fiesta, but you can use whatever you like. And now you prep the AI and say, look, when you're writing your article, 
we're talking to Savvy Sam. <laughs> but Savvy Sam is a tech savvy individual aged 24 to 45 seeking online income opportunities. Perfect. Create an informative, friendly article on Google Ads. Build Sam's confidence in AdSense as a source of online income while addressing their interests and concerns. Begin with compelling intro, clear intros, and blah, 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 blah. Uh, all of that's brilliant. I think this actually has got a little bit carried away on AdSense because I said that's what the blog would be making money on rather than what the user would be making money on. But I'm, this is 3.5. I'm sure you can use 4. Like I use the API. I, don't, I just don't want to confuse people with the video. But yeah, once you've done this, take all of that, jam it into ChatGPT in a new conversation, jam in some results from Perplexity, use the cool little prompt I've had to build your links in here. And with that combined, you're going to produce high quality content, high quality content that we've seen is our best bit of content and is going to rank. I mean, I'm not going to do this because obviously these German keywords, but you get the idea Like it's going to rank. It's the best possible thing. You already know that you've become somewhat of an authority in it because I've had 300 impressions for it. So let's get 300 impressions from a neighboring keyword. Google loves it when you do this because it shows you're an authority, an expert, uh, someone that's really knowledgeable in this particular aspect of the niche. So you'll grow exponentially faster. And there we have it. Like those are some quick and easy tips. I hope you gained a lot from it and I will catch you in the next video. Bye bye.